Yeah, it's good. Alright. So, analyzing those primal movement patterns, the next one we're going to look at is the push pattern. Okay? Now, at this point, what I like to say to people is I could care less, uh, care less how much you bench press. Okay? It doesn't really address the maybe movement dysfunction you may create as you're doing a push pattern. Okay? Again, adding a resisting force before addressing the root of the problem isn't going to address the problem. Okay, so I would never get that out of a test. I don't need to test the bench press. Maybe some, you know, leagues or some type of sports do have that testing component, but it doesn't tell me how somebody's pressing something or pushing something away from their body. Okay, so I need a test that's going to address that. And that's a stability push-up. It's a little bit different than a regular push-up. With a regular push-up, yeah, we don't need this. With a regular push-up, we put our hands wherever we feel comfortable, right? So it's like here, okay, and I do a push. With this stability push-up, we extend what we call levers. Fancy term, you know, okay? This arm position is gonna be a little bit higher. So my thumbs are gonna align with the top part of my ears, okay? From this particular position, what I have to do is try to push up at the same time, okay? So if I was, having issues and I mark this out of a tree system and I can't simply do it, that's a zero, right? If I'm pushing from this profile and I have a bit of a dip, that's a one. Why is it a one? I'm not sure. Okay, that's fine. What I want to try to do is when I'm creating a pushing force, I need stability and stability in the shoulder girdle when I go to create pushing forces. If I don't have those stable components, like my lower back doesn't engage, and it doesn't keep my hips in a neutral position and I go to push, what I usually do is I overexert forces. And then typically speaking, I'm taught to do the body training that involves me pressing and stuff. And I can't decelerate and accelerate it in the same fashion. And it goes all over the place. Are those people gonna get shoulder injuries? Yeah, okay, absolutely. Okay, so this test will tell me that. If they have a lot of issues lacking from their core, they're gonna express that position that they're over exasperated in their lower back, okay? Now, a two may start like that, but then it's gonna fix that, okay? And then a three, if you notice, I'll get a lot of retraction through the shoulder blade, my feet are engaged, my pelvis is engaged, and I come up flush. And that's what I want. Mark it out of a three system. From there, I'm able to see that they can keep everything intentionally activated again. That's what matters. Intention and execution work together. Okay? If I can't have that, at some point something bleeds energy or bleeds stability, and that puts me at risk. I don't want to design programs with lots of risk involved. Okay? I want to design something that'll help them get better. So I have to address this. This is a primal movement pattern. I push things all the time. Okay? So let's look at yours.